Today I'm sharing all the latest wearable fashion trends this 2021. What to wear this spring and how to style it. Rightly so, after last year, the 2021 fashion trends are all about positivity and feeling good. Despite being virtual, there was definitely an air of happiness on the runways. Hopeful pops of neon, flowers galore, and even tie-dye rearing its colourful head for another season. In short, it looked like the designers are set on getting us out and about again this year in an array of joyful tones. So I've scoured the high street, the independents and the designers and I want to share with you all the most wearable fashion trends for 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Jess. It would be really lovely if you could subscribe. And don't forget to tap all notifications on the pop-up, which will just let you know each time I upload a new video. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. Right, so many fashion trends and so little time, so let's get straight to it. Now it wouldn't be spring summer if there wasn't at least some interpretation of the floral print. But this year the designers have made the trend slightly easier and cheaper for all of us by saying that pretty much any floral print colour will tick the 2021 box. Now you've probably already got a floral dress hanging in the depths of your wardrobe so now is the time to dust it off again. The brighter and bolder the better or maybe take inspiration from the colour trends I'm about to share with you and blend the two together. I found this beautiful bargain for just £15 in sales. How cute is this little number new in it and other stories? A little bit more high end but how stunning is this asymmetrical dress? I think that print is just beautiful. Suzanne haven't launched their new spring collection in full yet, but for now I found this pretty little number to keep us going. One of the most wearable fashion trends this spring summer 21 has to be the khaki trend. And it's one I must admit I'm particularly fond of. A bit like shades of camel in winter, khaki in summer just adds that air of sophistication to any outfit without even really having to try. It's elegant and classy, yet it's really easy to add a touch of cool if you wish. But personally, I love to keep this trend pretty classic. And while I'm thinking of khaki, the trench coat is going nowhere fast. So I thought this would be an easy and a really nice way to introduce the khaki trend. I found this gorgeous summer version at La Redoute, which I think would finish off many an outfit. More of a traditional trench coat now with this typical tan version. I really love those contrasting leather details. I love this new trench coat, new in at Cezanne. I've definitely got that on my wish list. Then looking at other khakis, I found this pair of trousers at Mango. I would probably size up in those for more of a slouchy fit. It's not quite khaki, I know, but I'm gonna squeeze it in because I've just received this set from Everlane and I absolutely love it. The fabric's so beautifully soft. Found a lovely chic for less option at H&M. I tend to live in dresses like this, either on holiday or in the height of summer. When it comes to classic chinos in khaki, I personally don't think there's anyone better than going to Gap. In my humble opinion, they've got the perfect shape, perfect color, so if it's not broke, don't try and fix it. For something a bit more special, I found this beautiful floor length silk dress. As you can see, this has already become one of my favorite fashion trends for 2021, and we saw it all over the runway. One gorgeous palette of pastel sorbet tones. It's pretty, it's feminine, girly even, but given a tougher, up-to-date edge. With soft buttercup yellows, blush pink, mint, and gentle lilacs, it's one of the prettiest and surprisingly wearable fashion trends I've seen for a long time. And it has to be said, a great antidote to 2020. So as you can see with my outfit today, I am personally really loving these sorbet tones. I picked up this pretty silk blouse just before Christmas and I absolutely love it. This new in blush pink shirt would also tick the sorbet box perfectly. I love that little detailing around the collar as well. Then I found this really affordable satin midi dress. I'd probably always style that with the tie open at the neckline and maybe adding a belt at the waistband too. And then a lovely pop of yellow with this cotton dress that's currently got 50% off in the sale, so retailing at just 26 pounds. 
A nice way to introduce the sorbet trend would be with a pair of trousers. This blush pair are unusual, I know, but there's something about them that I really love. Or this mint coat, for example, makes such a statement, but I think that would completely make an outfit. And other stories have actually got quite a few pieces with this sorbet trend. I also found this yellow cardi with those really pretty little dragonfly buttons. Now I'll start this fashion trend by saying it's not the easiest look to pull off. There are lots and lots of versions of this cutout trend already all over the high street, but a lot of them are so tacky I can't even bring myself to share them with you. I've even seen some celebrities get this look horribly wrong and you know that they probably spent a fortune on the outfit, but somehow it still looks cheap. One celebrity, however, who in my humble opinion got this trend spot on was Sienna Miller. Seen here in her Gucci cutout creation at a gala in Monaco. She somehow manages to make this PVC cutout dress look every bit as expensive as I'm imagining it is. And I actually really like her in more of an edgier look. But fashion trends don't have to be so in your face. You can adapt them to suit your own personal style. Take this Reese version I found, for example. It's elegance personified, and yet it takes the cutout trend perfectly. And I think a woman's back is far sexier than any amount of cleavage could be. Another example, an easy way to do the cutout trend would be just with a bodysuit. The cutout across the chest is really interesting, but at the same time, it doesn't feel too over the top, which I like. I did fall in love with this dress as soon as I saw it, and I think that cutout is small enough and delicate enough to get away with. And I know from experience, the shape and cut of their dresses is beautiful. Going higher end, Camilla and Mark have brought out this interpretation of the trend. Just a really simple cutout at the waistband there. And though I have absolutely nowhere to wear it right now, I think this floor length dress is the perfect way to do the cutout trend for the evening. I am a sucker for a white dress. I just love that look on pretty much everyone in summer. And I truly believe there's a style on budget for everyone just a matter of finding it. Or finding me, who's more than happy to do the searching for you. Now, while white dresses are a big 2021 fashion trend, I do feel slightly fraudulent saying it because they're pretty much always a trend in summer. But hey, they are so wearable, I'm definitely not complaining. I personally love when they've got little added details, a sprinkle of broidery or lace or some crochet detailing. And if I'm lucky, that perfect vintage version that you just happen across. In short, what I'm trying to say is I don't think I've ever regretted buying any of my white dresses that I have in my capsule wardrobe. They've always had more than their wear over the years. First of all, I found this organic cotton dress in the sale at Netta Porter. It's retailing at £35 and I think the joy of it is in the simplicity. Now this t-shirt dress is just the sort of thing I love to wear throughout summer. It's very simple, it's elegant, but those little details make it just that extra bit special. Then to a really girly version with those shoulder ties. Looking closely at that fabric, it looks like it's some sort of gingham with a really nice frill detail around the trims. Back to Reformation again, but they do create some really flattering dresses. I really like the nipped in waist, there's very thin straps and that little bit of detailing at the back. This little dress is really affordable and it's the sort of shape I tend to wear a lot throughout summer. Forgive me, this one is obviously not a dress, but I just spotted it and thought it was definitely worth showing. 2021 might finally be the year that I put my well-worn skinny jeans to one side, for a break at least. Because the new denim trend this year is all about going a bit 90s baggy. Thankfully, we're not talking scruffy, just a little bit on the looser side, which definitely feels a lot more comfortable. Color-wise, it doesn't seem to matter from light blue wash through to dark indigo. So as long as you have a little bit of slouch, you should be right on the money. A gold seemed to be one of the brands doing this trend the best, and I actually found a couple of pairs on their website that I would like to add to my collection. So this is the first pair I found that I really liked on a gold. You've just got that little bit of distressed details around the top pockets. And then a slightly baggy version with this one, um, which is nice to see that waistband just coming down a little bit lower. H&M Conscious Range have brought out their own version, which I think is a great interpretation. And though it's got a slightly different waistband, I actually really like this version. I'd be interested in trying those in my usual size and sizing up, so I have a feeling it might work even nicer. Matches Fashion own collection called Ray really rock this trend. They've been doing it for a while actually. Um, so they've got the perfect baggy jeans on their website if that's within budget. 
I've been a big fan of oversized or boyfriend blazers for a while now. And lucky for me, it happens to be one of the big fashion trends for 2021. Not only do I love that slightly masculine style, but I also find them hugely wearable. And they mix and match with so many different outfits that the cost per wear shrinks really quickly. If you can't find the right style you're looking for, an easy fix this season would just be to size up. You want that slouch to it, but a bit of an elegant slouch. I found this viscose blend checked version at H&M, so really affordable with that one. My oversized blazer in this khaki tone came from Everlane. I think it would work nicely with some of those sorbet tones actually as well. I love the shape of this one. It's got that perfect masculine boyish shape to it. And the tone looks like a cross between khaki and camel somewhere in the middle, which I really like. We saw a lot of stripes on the runway as well, and I thought incorporating that trend into an oversized blazer would be a nice way to interpret it. Or you could just keep it classic with a really great option in black, obviously something that will never go out of fashion in your wardrobe. A bit like jeans, trousers are staying wider this spring summer, but when it comes to the color, the world is your oyster. You could go with khaki tones, pastels, monochrome black, and pair with a white top. In terms of style, there was an awful lot of choice as well. You could go with paper bag versions, pleats, tailored seams. Think boyfriend jeans, two sizes too big, and cinched in at the waistband with a thick black belt. Obviously, it's relaxed, but there is an understated cool to the look that really does inspire me. Now, I believe this pair of trousers are the matching suit bottoms to the blazer I already have, so these are definitely going straight to the top of my shopping list. A super affordable option next. I think those pleats will give this pair of trousers a really nice shape. And I'd probably style those with a classic white tee and a pair of trainers. Just keep it really understated and effortless. Then I found this paper bag version and I actually really like the styling in this with those cowboy boots. It gives it a different vibe but I do think it works. And I also found a lighter fabric version in a very, very gentle pink tone, which is something different. When it comes to monochrome, black and white will always last in your wardrobe. And it does tend to show off the hardware on your accessories at the same time. We saw a lot of monochrome on the catwalk, which is obviously hugely wearable, but I hazard a guess a pretty affordable fashion trend as well, as we've pretty much all got something black and white in our wardrobes. If you want to play it really safe, I like pairing a pair of black skinny jeans with a white button down shirt. Adding my classic black bag and a sprinkle of gold jewelry with my watch and my bracelets just to lift the outfit a little bit. Anina Bing, of course, has got this trend spot on straight from the start. I actually love everything about this outfit. The blazer, the trousers, that little strapless top underneath with those shoes, absolute perfection. Another really pretty dress with those staggered frilled hems. I like how those sleeves just gently fall over the tops of the shoulders. And then I found this little gem from the sails, which is actually perfect for a couple of different trends this season. You've got that sheer fabric across the shoulders, you've got monochrome, and then of course it's all about these lovely pretty dresses. So this one ticks an awful lot of boxes. One fashion trend that's left over from 2020 and would definitely see you through the colder spring months is the knitted cord. It was seen all over the high street to the point that I was almost sick of it until I saw this slightly different version at Hobbs. It's got a sprinkle of sparkle, which I love. It's just gone into the sale. And I'm thinking it's one of those trends that we're gonna see winter after winter or just keep coming back round again. So with that in mind, I don't feel too guilty stocking up on them. I do love a contrasting trim and that looks like a really cozy option. Cozy and super affordable at the same time. And I think you could easily dress this cohort up once we're out and about again. If you're looking for something a little bit smarter, perhaps wanting to wear a skirt, I found this option I really liked. Going with that tonal vibe, obviously it looks more polished and expensive and nice to get out of trousers once in a while. Saying that, I then spotted this set with another contrasting trim, this time a bit more defined. I think that's a beautiful cohort option. The 90s are definitely back in fashion, and not just when it comes to baggy jeans, but the infamous little slinky dress made an appearance too. I do like this trend, one for its wearability, but also I think you can feel safe in the knowledge that the trend will come back time and time again. Find one made to last, and I don't think you'd ever regret the purchase. If you're on a budget, I would look for options made from the hugely affordable tensile fabric, 
which just so happens to be really sustainable as well as having a beautiful drape. H&M actually use this fabric an awful lot, particularly in their premium collections, so worth keeping an eye on their website. But if you've got the budget to burn, I would always say opt for silk. It's surprisingly breathable in summer and the drape is just stunning in these types of dresses. Or mid-range price point, I would say go for satin. I found this gorgeous golden brown version by a brand called Line and Dot. I really hope you found this video helpful, discovering all the latest and most wearable fashion trends for 2021. I will do an updated version of this as we get towards the height of summer, but for now, hopefully that's lots of outfit ideas and inspiration to get you started. I'd love to hear from you too in the comments section, which is your favorite trend you think you'll be wearing this season do let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate your support. And don't forget, you can also find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. I will be back in a couple of days with more outfit ideas and styling advice. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.